beloved brethren, don't stop talking. Don't don't stop. Um, um, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> whatever God is giving you to do, don't stop. Whatever is in your hand, whatever is in your mouth that the Lord has given unto you to do, do it and do it wholeheartedly. You know, don't worry about uh, if someone will receive it. Uh, don't worry about naysayers. Don't worry about how others are doing what God has you know, don't worry about what others uh, are doing. Don't worry about how they're doing it. Be concerned only about the task ahead of you, uh, uh, you know, and whatnot. And again, don't worry about if people will receive it because you don't, you never know what people are receiving, number one. Okay. All we're doing, are we to, all we are to do is to sow the seed and then the watering comes you understand god gives the increase so that is not our business our business is to tell it like we know to tell it okay don't be censored be careful about censorship and 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 the like someone was just in a group uh, and they requested some information and some help on something. And a few of us, you know, chimed in to give our uh, advice or opinions and whatnot. And I, uh, for one, because I had, we uh, had recently experienced a situation such as that uh, with some, uh, in, with some individuals. So we, I was able to you know, give it from a, a standpoint, uh, uh, a stamp, uh, you know, a, 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 a standpoint of uh, experience or whatever. And, you know, it, like I said, other, you know, few people chimed in and then, but the way the person explained the situation, some people got upset about it because race was involved and this, that, and the other. I myself thought that it was very ignorant of the person, the way they thought about it. And when I'm saying ignorant, I'm not saying it in a derogatory way. I'm just saying the person was, you know, the facts that they gave in regards to the situation was quite ignorant and quite biased uh, because you did not um, include uh, sympathy for the, it, for everyone involved. Everyone involved, there needs to be sympathy or some type of advocacy for everyone that is involved because uh, it doesn't matter if you're the perpetrator or the victim. Both need counseling. Both need help. Okay? Both need a therapist or, you know, whatever. They, we, uh, they both need resources. You know, um, and whatnot. So I, of course, chimed that in as well that the person that is uh, also supposedly the perpetrator, have you looked into their background, into their situation, what they are going through, what trauma they have experienced in this matter or whatever. So anyway, the person wound up turning off the, vi turning off the comments. And I was like, you know, how foolish is that? And you don't want to hear the truth. You know, somebody is telling you the truth and, and, and helping you to see it from other angles, you know, and you don't want to hear it. So they turned off the comments. So I said, okay, whatever. So, but I would not be censored in Jesus' name. <laughs> you can turn off your comments. You just show, you're just showing your character and who you are and whatnot. So, because, because you don't want to hear the truth. But nonetheless, I was just thinking about another person who we were in a business relationship with not too long ago and uh because the business uh the relationship had dissolved and uh we were no longer communic definitely no longer well I shouldn't say definitely no longer communicating face to face nonetheless throughout the the the, the uh, dissolution of the uh, relationship or the business relationship, we were com communicating via text and um, email a more frequently. And anybody that knows me since the beginning of time, uh, I have used in my emails as well as text messages, I've always used a signature. I've always used a signature line to say, uh, say or convey something <clears throat> and whatnot. 
So, and in and, and my signature line uh, is always, and, I, and forgive me, I can't recall it all, but it always asks, do you know where you will spend eternity? I, you might have even gotten a, a letter or a card from me that says that, but definitely it is in my, on my signature lines and in my, uh, and for my text as well as email. And the person did not like that. They kept saying, how rude of you to ask me that. Why are you asking people that? Uh, you know, take that off of there. You know, telling me to take something off of my, <laughs> off of my text message, okay? And this is how the, this is why the relationship dissolved in the, the business relationship dissolved in the first place. Person was telling people, telling me what to do, bullying me, doing, so, con, trying to control this and control. It's like, uh, excuse me, what, 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 what are we, what's happening here? What am I seeing here? You know. So anyway, I digress. So they were telling me to take that off and all of this. And, and mind you, the person is a church. Well, they call themselves a church goer or something. They never said they were saved, but they just, they do. They were attending church sometimes at 6 p.m. on Sundays or some kind of program or whatever. But nonetheless, um, so like I said, and they were telling me to take it off. And so I just, you know, I would tell them, you know, first of all, you don't tell me what to take do, to do, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is a, this is a signature line that goes out to anybody. I'm not personally, personally telling you it, uh, to, uh, uh, asking you about your, uh, where you're going to spend eternity, blah, blah, blah. You know, I said, but how, how however, as a, a follower of Christ Jesus that's God that's God's agenda so why wouldn't it be mine as well so I you know so it's I said as a as a follower of Christ Jesus we want to know where people what or want to prompt people to examine themselves to wonder where exactly they will spend eternity okay uh you know blah 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 and uh so you know, we, uh, you know, I just, I, so we went back and forth for a minute on that and then it was over because I let them know, you know, this is just my sig, you know, it's a signature line, you know, but, you know, but you should, if you see it, it you, instead of call yourself being offended by it and, and whatever, you should really try to ex examine yourself, you know. So anyway, uh, what happened, wound up happening just a, a couple of years ago, I, I I think it was this 22, uh, so a couple of years ago, a person passed away. Now, our prayer is always, again, that people will be directed and redirected to Christ Jesus and to examine themselves and or their relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, okay? Uh, or Holy Spirit, because some people, they don't like the word ghost. It's, anyway, I'm not going to go there. Um... So, you know, I, we, you know, so again, we just pray that, you know, that the person didn't, uh, wasn't offended to death, you know, and that they wound up, ex, uh, ex, you know, ex examining them, themselves and, and getting their life fixed up uh, with God because no one knows the day or the hour when Christ is going to return. Neither do we know when we are going to pass away. You know, uh, it could be very unexpectedly which is the reason why we always need to make sure that our relationship is right with Christ Jesus or that we got our business fixed as people will say so that's all I wanted to share in this video and I pray and hope that you know all of our business is fixed and that we will continue to march forward no matter the obstacles that are in the op opposition. Uh, and, and sometimes our opposition, of course, comes from ourselves because, you know, we have fear, we have intrepidations, we are reticent to share things because it, it, you don't, it doesn't look like what the world is doing or what others are doing in their religious organizations and all of that kind of stuff. You can't be worried about religion, okay? Because religion is not God and religious 
uh, acts and actions and activities are not of God. I don't care who they are. I don't care if it's their, if it's our mother, our grandmother, our our husband, our whoever it is. I don't care. It's not of God, and it's not God. You know, we can follow people to hell if we want to. That's your your prerogative. But I refuse to, and I thank God for opening my eyes that I see the light now, and that. Uh, that my view, heaven is my view and my goal and doing the work of God is my uh, meat, okay? Not not religious activities and religious memberships and religious leaders and religious organizations and religious systems, their traditions, their rituals and customs. Never, never again. I am free and whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.